We are excited to announce a new feature this month. We have added the ability to create metrics based on actuals versus forecast data. To get started, let's open a dashboard and quick build a new metric. Now when adding data you will see a new option and a couple of familiar options to choose from. We have pulled these new column types out of the date picker to make it easier for you to choose what kind of data you want to show. For now, let's click actual versus forecast and add the current year. The great thing about this new data type is that if you keep the data live, your forecast will flip to actual while your book month moves. Another great thing about this data type is when using charts such as column charts, your forecast data will be easily distinguished from your actuals visually, as you can see here. You can easily turn this on or off by going to the data series section in the additional settings and unchecking styles for forecast columns. This feature is also available when using budget-only data as well. We have also added another new feature, when you click the gear icon on a column you will see a new toggle for advanced settings. Here you can change your subheaders and suffixes. To show you an example we will change the budget suffix to plan as well as the subheader for our budget. Subheaders will be visible when using a table metric. After we have changed that, we can check apply to all, to quickly apply it to the rest of our columns and click save. Now you can see those changes. This about covers our new actuals versus forecast columns type, if you have any questions about this feature send us a chat.